In this tutorial, we would be learning about what is unit testing. So let us start. Unit testing may be defined as type of testing where individual units of software is tested. Individual unit is the smallest unit of software. Basic purpose of doing unit testing is to test each unit of software if it is working as per expectation or not. Unit testing is generally done by development team. which consists of developers and it is done during development stage. Not only developers do unit testing, but there are also white box testers. who are well versed with programming and also do unit testing. So the overall purpose of unit testing is to isolate particular section of code and check whether it is working as per expectation or not. So when I say unit, it may be individual function, method or maybe an object. These are technical terms that are well understood by developers or white box testers. They will test the units to verify whether the program or code is written in such a way that it is fulfilling its purpose. Now one thing to be understood really is that unit testing is first level of testing and it is done before all the testing starts. It may be done by white box testers. White box testing techniques are used but it is generally done by developers. One very important thing that should be noted here is that you may not be required to do unit testing at the start of the manual testing career. But we should understand the concept of unit testing. We may later on perform white box testing depending upon interest after getting or gaining knowledge of programming like Java or .NET or there may be various other languages. So we can clearly see in this diagram unit testing is first level of testing. One can start doing white box testing and make a career in white box testing. for doing unit testing but we should not bother much about it at the moment and manual testers do not need to do unit testing but being tester we should but all the testers should know what is unit testing now there should be a question that should come in mind at this point of time is that why unit testing when we the manual testing is able to check all the functionalities of the software then why do we need unit testing so let us understand that there are many regions to do unit testing First region is that unit testing 
helps in identifying bug at the development stage itself and when any issue is detected during development itself it is fixed it is fixed then and there itself with less time and effort as well as cost to organization second advantage that may be considered for unit testing is that good unit test can be very helpful in project documentation because we can map project code with the requirement and we can easily document individual test cases for unit testing that may and one of the most very important reason is that unit testing helps in code re reusability everything is so much document that we can migrate our code to new project if the requirement is similar because it if of its better documentation and better understanding let us understand how to do unit testing now for doing unit testing developers and white box testers take particular function from software application and developers then use their unit test framework to test their functionality developers generally isolate function to be tested separately in a separate environment and remove unnecessary dependencies between the functions or other units between the functions and other units so that unit testing can be done in a better way and for doing unit testing unit test framework is used there are many famous unit test frameworks which are available to use some of unit test framework is j unit r j unit and n unit one is used for testing java application and other is used for testing dot net application there are many other unit test framework available for doing unit testing some of them is visible in this diagram those who do not know what unit testing framework is they should know that it is used to test unit part of application whatever test is written in unit test framework it is executed in framework and results are displayed in a structured way all the test whether it is passed or fail are reflected in the result produced by unit test framework so framework is very useful thing when it comes to unit testing there are many unit testing frameworks available in market we have already seen that and well one more time i am focusing on this we do not need to understand all these unit testing frameworks at the moment this requires special skills to understand it it is well understood by developers of white box testers testers who perform unit testing but for those who want to start their career in manual testing should understand basic concept of unit testing thank you